Live Trans and Prosper. Hi, this is Dr. Brian David Phillips. I'd like to welcome you. Today, I want to rant a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little rant. And this rant is essentially, I want to tell you it's okay to love yourself and love others. Some folks have this weird idea that love is limited and I've only got so much love and I need a lot of it for me. So if I love me, I can't love thee, I can't love others. Well, there's in psychology, there's a technical term for that sort of belief. Bullshit. Love is not a limited material. Love's actually a growth material. The more you plant it, the more you receive. The more you use it, the more it grows. If you use love for only a very few things, then your love contracts. The less love you use, or the less persons you love, the more your love contracts and becomes harder, and it becomes more difficult to interact with others. But the more you love others, the more that seed spreads. It's like a web that moves forward. This love to this one, to this one, to this one, to this one, and it grows exponentially. Love is not a competition for scarce resources. Oh sure, there's lots of stuff out in the world that is a competition for scarce resources. Love ain't one of them, folks. So please, love yourself and love others too. And you know what's really neat? Go ahead and love strangers. Here's a neat little trick you can do. It's a mind trick that you play on yourself and you play on the universe. I'd like you to, next time you're out in public and you're walking through a mall, or you're walking through an office, I don't know, any place where you're going to see people that you know. And when you see people, greet them. You don't have to say, Howdy, how you doing there? Hey, hey, ho, 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 I love you, dude. No, instead, I'd like you to have some quick eye contact and think to yourself, I love that guy. I love you to the person that you're seeing. Really feel it. Imagine that you love that person so well, you actually feel loving connections with them. And just keep walking. Now that's for folks that you already know. A smile and a loving connection, and you move on. Now here's a really fun variation of this game. Do it with folks you don't know. You're walking down a mall, there's lots of people around. You just randomly eye contact with folks, smile and think to yourself, I love that guy. I love you. Now when you think the I love that guy or that I love you thing, do it in a non-creepy way. I don't want you thinking things like, ooh, I love you. I want to have sex with you. No, I'm asking you to do another variation, which is the non-creepy version. Just openness, caring, unconditional love. You probably will never see these people again. So what does it hurt? What's the worst that could happen is that nothing nothing but what else could happen they could feel that connection as well and they'll smile back and that neat? you just eye contact and smile make it a genuine smile none of these creepy only the mouth smiles instead the whole face smiles okay a real smile versus a fake smile. You can tell. Crow's feet move, the whole face moves, the body is connected. So go ahead and do that and connect with people and stop the mindless competition for love. Just give it out. Because the more love you give, the more you're going to get. If you need a selfish reason to love, understand the more genuine love you give, 
the more you get. And love's pretty awesome to get. This has been Dr. Brian David Phillips, Live Trance and Prosper. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and comment. Ask questions and things like that. On Tuesdays, we have church news and rants like this one or others. There are many sermons sometimes. On Wednesdays, I ask you answer your questions or I have other bits for you. And of course, Thursdays is trance time where I guide you through a nice little trance process. Until next time, this is Dr. Brian David Phillips. Live trance and prosper. Bye-bye.